Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you why there are no new Magic players and offer a solution. So I'm not going to bring up a problem now until I have the solution for it. Local game stores around where I live, they take these introduction packs. So these are the welcome decks. And the welcome deck is meant to be given for free to a new player to encourage people to play this game. You need new players to play this game, otherwise it will die. It is simple economics, simple math. People sometimes quit magic. To replace these people, you have to have new players. So this is a store that is selling these welcome decks that should be given out for $6. I think that is really bad. Um, it's really bad because if a new player actually buys the deck first of all the deck is not worth six dollars but they will eventually find that out that that store cheated them so these decks do not have planeswalkers in them and for the most part you might say maybe the older ones are slightly more collectible but i would argue that since 2015 Magic Origins, these have been given out by my local game store when it carried Magic regularly. And there was no reason. In fact, it would actually be a disservice to give someone a new player a old one. So what is a Magic Welcome deck? It is a no charge deck to demo Magic the Gathering. Uh, features five colors of magic. No, you do not get the planeswalkers. They're packaged as sets of two in a take home deck box. One of the decks in each set features the color of the planeswalker who appears in a deck box. The other is selected at random. Every local game store is given a bunch of these to encourage people to play magic. Now imagine you are a new player. You go to that store, you pay $6, your friend pays $6, you have a good time. Then you learn that the store hosed you. Uh, there's no other way to say it, except a product that should be given for free is marked up quite a bit of money. And are you going to have a positive feeling about the store? Are you going to feel great about the person who sold you this? You just got cheated. You're not coming back to Magic, no matter how fun that experience was, because no one likes to get cheated this way. No one likes to pay an extra $6, assuming you buy one, or I guess two. These decks are meant as a, let's get new players interested. Let's make the barrier of entry as low as possible. And yet stores are taking advantage of this and making money from it. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you mean that now there is a product? I wonder if this product is free as well because you really do want to introduce new players. It is a October 5th. A new learn to play product aimed at helping new players. Oh, great. I'm sure that this will be given out at the local game stores. I just can't imagine anyone trying to sell this product. It's just, you, you don't want to do that. Hopefully, Wizards of the Coast can punish the stores that sell this introduction product. Oh, it has two dice. That's very nice as well. I'm so glad that they're making this for new players to get them. Uh huh. The Spell Stinger Starter Kit will be available in local game stores and mass market stores, Walmart. It will have an MSRP of $14.99. Mother effer. So, I, that was a joke. Of course I knew it was $14.99. That's why I found someone charging 12 bucks for, you know, a deck. Remember, the package actually has two decks, so he's charging $6 a deck or $12 for a package. So if you were to buy a package and your friend were to buy a package, you would be paying $12, which is very similar to what I think these cards, this is actually gonna sell for. 
at a local game store. No way with the card quality does this sell for $14.99. So Wizard of the Coast is doing exactly what I described this game store. This greedy, greedy game store owner is doing. They are making the barrier of entry much higher than it needs to be. And to be quite frank, it's embarrassing. It is uh, money hungry. And I don't know. I mean, you look at this deck, Shivering Dragon. I'm going to show you that the Shivering Dragon is the same as the Shivering Dragon that you would get in the Welcome deck. That's kind of the quote chase card. Now, there's not much difference between this. Uh, it is a 60 card deck versus a 30 card deck. But I don't know, $15 seems like a very high barrier of entry. $15 and you need another player willing to play this other deck with you. Um, you have Palka Warm, which is just kind of a bulk card. None of this is particularly valuable uh, in terms of long-term growth or things that a new player can trade out of or to expand on. You're not A new player is not going to take this deck add a few new cards and suddenly it's a FNM deck. That's not the product. The product is for starter players. And you know, they're selling at Walmart, which means it is for casual players. It is absolutely for casual players. Uh, the reason that this is, in my opinion, the worst product is it does not do its job. Magic is hemorrhaging players. And the large majority of players who go to the Magic tournament, they feel isolated. They don't feel like maybe they play Alex Bocchini. I mean, imagine if a brand new player plays Alex Bocchini. Alex Bocchini would go ham, get cheated a hundred times at least in that one game. So a lot of bad stuff is happening. The Hall of Fame drama is showing you what the true nature of these pro, quote, taste and mark, Hall of Fame members are. Uh, one of the things I will say that is quite interesting in the design of this is they are trying to hit new players very, very hard. They remade the gift pack. The gift pack, number one, was a terrible concept that only your grandmother would buy, but it must have sold well enough. Enough grandmothers bought the gift pack to the dismay of their Magic players that they continued with the gift pack too. Otherwise, they would cut ties right they, that's what they did with magic origins or magic core set they even cut entire set away to move to a 2-2 rotation because magic core set did so poorly has historically done very poorly they have cut uh the dual decks away so it's not like they don't uh, get rid of stuff they get rid of stuff incredibly fast we didn't even see a new rotation before they went back to the old way rotation happened not even one new rotation. We just combined. We just combined them. So, as you can see, Nightmare, uh, Shivering Dragon, somewhere below. It's the same rares. Like the value of it is very similar. If I actually purchase two of them, or if I receive two of these intro or these welcome deck packets. Remember, each welcome packet has two thirty card decks. Each thirty card deck has one of these rares. It's the same. So, you know, I've always thought it was very scummy of game stores to sell a introduction pack that was supposed to be given, supposed to be given to players for twelve dollars. In this case, it's twelve dollars. Remember, there's two of them. This person has cleverly took the box, maybe he sold a box again, and then split the decks into these planeswalker decks. It's embarrassing it is wrong in my opinion and it is a very good representation of the state of magic and why it's not growing because people are so fixated on value that you know a lot of you say oh the nexus of fates are getting out are getting do you think this local game store that's selling a welcome deck for 12 bucks right 12 bucks that's what you're selling at is giving out their nexus of fates for free in a booster box no blank no and I know this because you, can, you can't change human nature. To ask someone to be better when they've always been scummy is impossible. Um, recently, I think I mentioned that one of my workers, her brother got put in jail for just the worst crime. 
uh, just the worst crime, in my opinion. He just doesn't change. You know, I've heard many bad stories about him. I said that to her to stay away from him. He's trouble, he's trouble, he's trouble. And there's no redemption. Uh, there's no redemption when you sell something at six dollars that should be or sell something at twelve dollars that should be given for free the probability of this same person with a twenty or forty dollar promo buy box promo giving it the promo to people who buy his boxes is zero you cannot change someone's nature that easily uh, it's a accumulation of many choices in the past Hi guys.